the, the question was, would electric vehicles ever be economic? Would they ever take off? And today, of course, we're looking at electric vehicle uh, prices soon to drop below uh, uh, gas powered car prices on a like for like basis. And by 2025, the average, uh, the average car, like the Toyota Camry uh, of the electric vehicle space will be priced at $18,000 compared to $25,000, $26,000 for the average gas powered car. Uh, and we know that electric cars are better from a couple of points of view, certainly uh, the environment, but also they're just better cars. Uh, if you, uh, if you uh, use metrics like uh, zero to 60 miles per hour, how many seconds does that take? Um, so uh, we, we think for that, just that one um, part of the auto mar market is going to scale, this is a global number, uh, at an 82% compound annual rate during the next five years. Think about that, anything growing that much, people just don't believe that's going to happen. But we do, we think there will be a wholesale shift so that we go from 2.2 to 2.3 million electric vehicle cars sold last year to 40 million in five years. And that will be almost half of all cars sold globally. And we'll probably have entered the autonomous realm as well. Um, one of the reasons uh, autonomous will happen is because artificial intelligence training costs are dropping by 37% per year. And uh, we're seeing uh, the size of uh, artificial intelligence models growing by tenfold per year. Uh, so there's a huge amount of progress being made because the costs are dropping at such a rapid rate. And uh, we can make this progress now. One of the reasons these models are growing so quickly is that to do natural language processing takes time, 10 times the computing power that computer vision uh, demands. So, and we see the progress being made in natural language processing. I, I, I don't think we expected this for another five years. So even we have been taken aback at the progress. Uh, and I do believe a lot of it is associated with the costs coming down as rapidly as they are. Uh, we think that artificial intelligence is going to enable virtual worlds that um, I remember we used to talk about this 20 years ago, talking about how we would all be entering into virtual worlds with avatars and so forth. Um, well, I, I think virtual reality is on the cusp. And uh, we would have told you, there was a debate in the firm, but we would have told you on balance, uh, most of us did not expect it to take off five years ago. Uh, I listened to Unity Software, uh, um, John Riccatello, who uh, I knew uh, from Electronic Arts in the day. Uh, he's at Unity and he had uh, also been saying that he didn't think virtual reality was going to be a thing um, uh, about five years ago for quite some time. Now he says we're on the cusp. Uh, and this means uh, we, we will be uh, seeing virtual worlds converging and we will be evolving towards the metaverse. Uh, and we think there's a creative explosion and it's not just in gaming, it's probably in every sector. Again, artificial intelligence, a big part of that. Digital wallets, so bank branches in our pockets. We think this is a $4.6 trillion opportunity. Uh, and uh, and that's, that's just in the US. We think there will be 200 million uh, digital wallet holders. And again, these are gonna be our bank branches. And this is why the financial services sector is in harm's way, we believe. Uh, but the aha moment that we have had uh, in the last year, and we've been informed by what's happened in China, is that these digital wallets are going to be much more valuable than we once thought. We were defining that market in terms of financial services. But if you look at what happened uh, in China with Tencent, you'll see that half of the screen uh, is used for uh, digital commerce or e-commerce. 
uh, as well as social activities. Uh, so these digital wallets um, could become uh, could become the most valuable um, the most valuable uh, technology uh, technology developments per user um, of almost anything. Uh, so uh, we're pretty excited about that. And what's also interesting is to watch Cash App and uh, Venmo scale to surpass uh, JP Morgan in, uh, in the case of JP Morgan's uh, deposit holders, 60 million. Uh, Venmo was uh, there last year. Square has just about ca caught up. Uh, and if you, if you were to draw um, a graph as we did in Big Ideas, showing how JP Morgan got to those levels, it was one acquisition after the other. Whereas Cash App and Venmo, uh, because they're viral in nature, have, uh, have uh, gotten there uh, organically. Uh, so um, miles to go, lots of, lots of fun in that space. Uh, part of fintech uh, and digital wallets, of course, is um, uh, Bitcoin. Uh, and we're astonished uh, to see, we're not astonished to see the price uh, elevate, we're, because we expected institutional to become a bigger part of uh, the equation, as we saw sort of the infrastructure moving into place. Uh, but what we didn't expect was uh, that, that uh, Bitcoin would uh, become a part of the balance sheets of institutions. Uh, so uh, Square, 1% of its assets, 2% of its cash is in Bitcoin. MicroStrategy, I think more than 100% of its cash is in, uh, in Bitcoin. And uh, just this week, uh, MicroStrategy hosted a conference for institutional investors to show them the way. Uh, you know, a good way to diversify your cash. And uh, given uh, everything going on in uh, the, the DeFi space, the decentralized uh, finance space, um, we wouldn't be surprised to see Ether moving in this direction. It's probably going to take a while. Uh, we think the, the, sh the, the, the more secure, the more secure uh, diversification into crypto uh, will be through, through Bitcoin. Uh, and then uh, uh, automation, uh, it took the manufacturing industry in the United States 15 years to go from 20 robots per 10,000 uh, 10, employees to 200, 15 years. Uh, and that, uh, that took place through 2015. Uh, we believe uh, that the same is about to, hap about to happen to the entire economy, not just the manufacturing. We are right now at roughly 20 uh, robots per 10,000 employees in the U.S. economy. We believe it will only take five years to get to 200. And a lot of, a lot of people uh, uh, are afraid when they hear that. Uh, they're thinking about their own jobs. Uh, but the history of technology is, yes, there will be displacement, but the history is that it will create many more jobs uh, uh, than it will destroy. Uh, and uh, so we are not afraid of this. Uh, our brainstorm today, we had a, a, a big discussion about it. And one of the things we've learned from, from uh, technology is we have no idea how, uh, how many interesting new creative jobs are going to evolve during the next five years, um, uh, maybe having to do with virtual worlds. Uh, we were also commenting on, you know, working fewer hours. Well, influencers on Instagram, that's a job. I don't think they are working eight hours a day. Maybe some are, uh, but I don't think uh, some of them need to do it and they're making a very fine living. So. Uh, work, the nature of work is going to change. And we were also talking about education as well. Uh, the nature of education is changing. Um, Elon Musk this week, I believe, said that his uh, school age children are, um, are learning mostly through YouTube. And I think he said Twitter. It might have been another social uh, network. 
uh, and uh, we have some folks on our brainstorm each week who are basically saying the same thing. They'll tune into us for innovation and then they go off to uh, YouTube to do a little more exploration. So I think the nature of education is changing and um, uh, we're pretty excited about that. One of the interesting thing about things about automation uh, that I think many people don't understand is that part of what happens is that previously unpaid labor shifts into paid labor. Uh, so you can imagine all the food preparation, the shopping, the preparation, the cooking, uh, the cleaning up. Now we have food delivery and we think uh, with drone technology uh, in five years, we're going to have uh, at least, uh, I've forgotten the exact number, but uh, a, 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 an astonishing um, a, amount of our food intake will be because of food delivery and we'll have uh, wonderfully diverse, diverse uh, um, options, of course. Uh, then